Hello, YouTube. I don't know what you guys have heard about uh, the deal going on with Turkey and the Netherlands, but I'm going to discuss that a little bit. Uh, basically, what happened is is the uh, Turkey's getting ready for, to vote on whether to give Erdogan dictatorial powers, or basically, I don't think it's quite 100%, but almost 100% dictatorial powers. As in Islamofascists fashioned, they love dictators. For some reason, a lot of the Muslims really like dictators. I don't know if they feel like they deserve it or what the deal is, but this election is coming up, and there's 400,000 Turks in the Netherlands who can legally vote in a Turkish election, or a Turkish, yeah, election. Or So what they're going to do is they, they're wanting these these Dutch, or not Dutch, I shouldn't say that, these, these Turks in the Netherlands to vote for the dictatorship. So they send a minister over there, people's minister over there, to do rallies to get these Turks in the Netherlands pumped up about voting for a dictator. And it, it created, there was already a lot of rioting going on and stuff in, in the Netherlands because there were some against it and some for it. And in, in the Netherlands, they're getting ready to have an election tomorrow, and they didn't want this polarization around Islam because I don't, I think they're afraid that it would make Gert Wilder win because Gert's the only person over there that's against uh, the Islamization of, of the Netherlands. He sees the terrible danger that if we allow these people in our country, they're going to destroy us slowly, little by little. They're going to demand that they have uh, freedom of religion. And they, they get their prayer mats and their prayer rooms, but no one else can. They get freedom of speech, but no one else can have it. That's always how they operate. They act very... When they, when they live in a Western culture, they act very progressive and liberal and act like they are, but we know they're not. They're very backward and cultish and very much re, very religious and dark. But the reason that they act like they're liberal and that they're modern progressives is because the modern progressives align with them. They're like, oh yeah, you know, minority. They're a minority. The progressives will always jump on the minority train. It doesn't matter if they're rapists, pillagers, violators, rioters. It doesn't matter. They love the idea of justice, that these people are being abused. The whole the rallying cry of the left is justice, justice, justice. And they've become obsessed with the word justice. They've become so obsessed with it that they believe it's more important than any other single thing. Diversity and justice. The right's rallying cry has always been freedom. But freedom isn't, is, it, it takes a, a smarter person, a higher IQ, a more intelligent human being to understand the importance of freedom. Because in, in all Western countries, and in all countries in general, freedom is, is, is limited. You can't just do anything you want. So you do have some things that you're not allowed to do. So freedom is how much, when. It, it's not an absolute like justice. If anyone walking down the street who sees an injustice, unless they're just, you know, is outraged, except for obviously Islam, they're not outraged at any injustice, but they use other people's sympathies of injustices. For, for their cause. So what happened is is they outlawed this minister from Turkey to come into the Netherlands to ha hold rallies because he's coming to a foreign country holding rallies to incite violence among the Turks and supporting a dictator. So they didn't so that made Erdogan very angry and the Turkish president started calling them Nazis and fascists and just going crazy on them. And so now it's big, and, and so they rioted more. The Turks in the Netherlands burned cars and carried on, raised cane like they always do. So, but also what happened is, is beings that, that the party that's in power now, who Gert Wilder is running against, they did stand up against Turkey. Now the, the, the national polls show that that gave them a boost instead of Gert Wilder. Now, I find that hard to believe. I don't know. I think Gert's going to win tomorrow. I think he has a good chance of winning. I mean, it's possible. 
Maybe, maybe they're not smart enough. Maybe the, the Netherlands, maybe the Dutch aren't red-pilled enough. Maybe they don't really see what's going on. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's what's going on in Turkey. And uh, here in the U.S., we're still, uh, we're still under the, uh, we're still, still talking about the health care bill. Obviously, this health care bill, at first, I was, I was willing to listen, you know, thought, hey, we can work it out. Maybe it's a three-step process, maybe. But it seems more and more that, that, pa that Paul Ryan was trying to keep, he's obviously colluding with leftist progressives in keeping o Obama's health care. Because from what they're saying, they're still going to find people who don't have it, which is the first thing that has to go. And that it, it just overall doesn't seem like a good bill. So we're going to have to see where that goes. Uh, the, call, the call to Americans is read, educate yourself. Take the red pill, not the blue pill. For anyone who doesn't know, in the movie The Matrix, the people were given a choice of the red pill, the blue pill. The red pill ga gave you truth and reality, the hard reality and, and truth that's uncomfortable. The blue pill allowed you to live in a haze of delusion and peace that was a false haze, false sense of peace. And there's so many people today who would rather take the blue pill than the red pill, knowing what they were taking. You could explain it in detail and they still take the blue pill because they don't want to know the truth. It upsets them. You know, how weak can you be when the truth upsets you so much you would rather have be told lies. Unbelievable. So the war continues. We keep fighting. We keep uh, marching on. That's about it.